Gonna go outside, gonna go outside, gonna go outside. You can still die. This is where I'll go over all the rules and supplies and show you the examples of a bunch of minute to win it challenges that are 60 second challenges that use commonly available items or very cheap items they can easily buy at the dollar store so that you can have party games, challenging games, or games that you can do at home with people as a party or alone, especially if you're stuck in those days or you just wanna be inside. Let's get to it right now so you can start playing this minute to win it and let's end this trilogy. The buying list is everything that we bought at Dollarama or things we already had at your house. This has cost us $16 for part one and then everything additional for part two and three cost about $13. But let's power through this 30 red solo cups, about 12 ping pongs, a bag of balloons, total of 12 dice, two pairs of chopsticks, four teaspoons, a total of eight straws, 24 pencils, bag of marbles totaling to six, two tennis balls, a crayon, about eight meters of string, a big boy spoon, a bag of M&Ms or Skittles, lighter balls, but you can use the tennis balls, two popsicle sticks, don't worry about that, three bowls, wine glass, a piece of paper, and that should be everything. The list is gonna be in the description if you just wanna copy and paste it and have it for yourself, but let's go over the games themselves. Keeping that minute to win it spirit, each game is going to have an explanation that is not gonna be longer than 60 seconds. Again, those time codes are gonna be down there if you're looking for a specific game. First one is cup bowling, stacking a total of 20 cups in a triangular shape pattern on the ground and using a tennis ball. Your goal is to knock over all the cups under the 60 seconds while being at least one body length away from that stack. You can always make it more difficult by being further away. Trying to knock over every single one of them becomes way more difficult. And I would recommend having more than one ball. I would also recommend putting the stack of cups in which you're going to show your bowling prowess of all that wee bowling that you've done. Yes, bowling is a real sport, mom, stop asking. And put those in front of a solid surface so that the ball can bounce back or it can knock over more cups. Knocking over the cups is obviously the most fun part. If you find yourself with so many red solo cups because you're that much of a fan of country music or you haven't graduated yet, you can set up multiple lanes for multiple people. You can also treat this as normal bowling. Mama bird. Tweet, 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 tweet. For this one, all you need is a bowl with six ping pong balls inside. Your goal is to use a spoon and use it as intended, which is putting the opposite end in your mouth and using your dexterous face muscles. Never skip face day to scoop up the ping pong ball and move it to another bowl. If you can do this with six ping pong balls before the timer runs out, then you did it. You can have the distance much further in which you have to walk across. If you do not care about cleaning up or making omelets later, you can replace the ping pong balls with eggs in which dropping them has much deeper consequences. You can also create an obstacle course that you need to get around. This was way more difficult as I kept struggling at the beginning to just pick them up. I must have skipped face day. The easiest way I found to scoop up that spherical nemesis was to use the side of the spoon instead of just going straight under. The edge of the spoon just made them just kept circling around and they kept running away but I kept chasing them. Kidnapped Pictionary. Just like Pictionary you will have a picture in which you need to draw and your teammates need to guess exactly what you're drawing. Now, the only problem is your hands are tied behind your back. Side note, it doesn't literally need to be tied behind your back, but just don't use your hands. And you're gonna need to place that marker in your mouth. Never escape face day or else you're gonna have a serious issue with these games. Your goal is under 60 seconds is to draw three different pictures with the same theme and your teammates need to guess what it is in order to be successful. As you can see from our Picasso graded artistic design, she went with an outdoor theme and I went with animals. If you want the theme to be chosen for you, there are a bunch of free apps for Pictionary games or you can use a game called Heads Up, which is a free app which has its own themes and already has a 60 second timer built into it. Drawing something simple was way more difficult, but I think it just adds more personality to the picture. 
Give it a whirl, just like a wine connoisseur that swishes that liquid, silly grape juice. We are gonna do the same thing with marbles. The goal is to take a wine cup and place it upside down to pick up a marble and swish it around, allowing gravity and motion to keep it inside the cup. While doing that, you need to transport the marble from one bowl to another. Just like the other games in which you're going from point A to point B, it can be more difficult by making the distance a lot further to travel. Understanding the swishing technique for the marbles was difficult at first, but once you get the hang of it, it becomes very easy and you can pick up more marbles at a time. Small, quick movements are better than large, awkward movements. And it only takes a couple of tries, but once you get it, you get it. I'm not also a wine glass expert, but there's a chance that you might lose a wine glass during this challenge. We already had a broken one, so if we we're gonna damage one, we might as well damage the one that's already broken. We had a lot of red solo cup themed games. And so for part three, here's gonna be the last red solo cup game. And it's a doozy. Tilt a cup. You have eight cups and eight ping pong balls. The goal is to bounce a ping pong ball from the ground into your cup. Then you add one cup from the stack on top and continue this process until you have the country version of the Tower of the Leaning Tower of Giza. France architecture would be so proud. That is not a French accent and I am French. The difficult part is bouncing the ping pong ball and moving the stack of cups in order to catch it, but then it spins around and it won't listen to you as the edge continues to do this circle. You want to get better at bouncing the ping pong ball into your target instead of trying to move the cups under the ping pong ball. I found this one to be more difficult in a fun and challenging way compared to all the other red solo cups and you might actually fail and lose this challenge. It's also one that you don't need to make more difficult by adding a single red solo cup the difficulty gets way more extreme and there's a certain point in which they're just gonna fall over drop zone using two pieces of string and one ball your goal is to have the ball roll down that bridge of string until it's at the right distance in which you're gonna have a bucket about two meters away when you think you're ready you separate the string and have the ball fall into that containment device. We used a soft, nice dog bed. If you can get that ball in three times during the 60 second time limit, then you have achieved victory. To make this more difficult is to do the classic make the distance a lot further. You can also do this the way that we did it, in which each person held one end of the string and you needed to use your excellent coordination and teamwork. Another option is you can tape the two pieces of string or tie them on a solid piece and one person can control it at a time. Now, the little trick to keep this up is you have to have the string just wide enough that the ball stays on because if you have the string too close, which is what we tried at first, it's just gonna fall off those tracks. Boon frog. Oh, nostalgia. How things from back in the past come back into the future and it becomes a huge hit. Like this game is called Spoon Frog and Ridge. It takes one of the most favorite nostalgic things from the past, which is a medieval age wooden siege catapult. Ugh, oh, the good times. The goal is to use a teaspoon as a launcher and the other teaspoons as a projectile and for you to flip that teaspoon inside a cup three times successfully under 60 seconds. It takes a little bit to get the trick, which is simply keeping the spoon at the end and not trying to stack the teaspoons on top of each other. If you do this correctly, the teaspoon is just gonna stand up and fall over into the cup. Trying to make this more difficult also won't be very successful as the teaspoons don't necessarily go much further. They mostly just go higher. You can make this as a fun team game in which one person has to flick the teaspoon and the other person is holding the cup and needs to catch it. And we're gonna end this epic trilogy with one of the games that I wasn't super excited about, but ended up being one of my favorites, Backflip. You are simply gonna start with two pencils that are gonna be on the back of your hand and you will throw the pencils up in the air to catch them inside your hand. Once you have done that, you are going to add two more pencils and repeat that process until you've done it with a total of 12 pencils. If you can do that under 60 seconds, congratulations. This was a tough one and another one that you can easily fail. The trick for this one is to keep the pencils as much as in a stack as possible, especially once you start adding more of those writing utensils. If you keep it as a bundle, it's gonna be much easier to catch them 
in one big grab. And the faster you react, the easier it is going to be to get all the pencils as they're still very close together. The difficulty of this scales very, very nicely from two to four to six to eight to 10 to 12. It's small adjustments in order for you to understand and you to succeed. It doesn't scale up too quickly. It flows very nicely. And like I said, in those final thoughts up in my head, what an end to an epic minute to win it trilogy, huh? What a journey, what a, what a ride we went through, huh? Remember the good times? If you are looking for other adventures, I have links to Groupon and Airbnb down below in the links, but that is my experience. What do you think? What has been your favorite Minute to Win It games throughout this entire video or all the videos? You can let me know down in the comments down below, and you can always send me videos of you guys playing some of these challenges, which you can do through social media, which is gonna pop up in a second. And let's go together to the next adventure.